Alright, so, you know how I said I was gonna do, uh, Pokemon Moonblock 2? Well, we're not doing that anymore. Instead, I found this game, Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, and I think it'd be a lot more interesting. I have to deal with the freaking dumb screen pausing and stuttering, whatever. The various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. Uh, there we go. Who's the main character? Also, oh, use, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think. I might have a little issue remembering these buttons, but it's fine. Press this button to open the menu. Use a shift item and you. Uh, yeah, whatever. Things appear to finally be looking up in the feudal kingdom of Kanto. Wait, region. This isn't a monarchy. In the feudal region of Kanto, since the end of the Great War ten years ago, the region's new champion, Lance, managed to restore its damaged economy and pave the way for a new age of economic and technological prosperity. Not everyone were, not everyone were quite so happy. Is this one of those English is my second language kind of games? Or is that just a... Oh. Not everyone were quite so happy with their new post-war government, however. Mobs, street gangs, and other forms of petty organized crime soon arose, each vow vowing to restore the region to its former independent glory. None, however, were as powerful or as respected as the notorious Team Rocket. Their infamous organization would regularly scour the region's city streets in search of eager-minded improvised trainers to prove their worth among its ranks, then task them with organized acts of theft, assault, and corruption. It is with one of these young trainers that our story begins. Oh, is that gonna be me? Oh, I hope so. Ooh, I, I like this. Well, hello there! Welcome to Team Rocket! You are one of the lucky few to be allowed entry into our ranks. For your own sake, I hope you will prove yourself worthy of it. Now, if you're like any of our other new recruits, I'm guessing you've never owned a Pokemon before in your life. And in that case, I'm happy to say that this is your lucky day. Each of you will receive one of these beauties for yourself. Don't like it? Well, you ungrateful little bastards. I suggest you go out and steal yourself something else. This is a criminal organization, not a charity for crying out loud. Anyhow, now the chit chat's out of the way. How about you tell me a little about your about yourself, huh? Ooh, a name. I suppose you've got one of those, have ya? Ooh. Hmm. Wait, actually, um. Is Raccoon gonna fit? Barely. Okay, I think that's a good sign. Uh, yeah. Well then. A new life of violence, thievery, and other assorted misdemeanors awaits you. <laughs> Stay away from the police, abide your superior's orders, and never show mercy to anyone. Do this, and maybe one day you can rise to be become as powerful as me. Who knows? Now get moving. Now we ain't got all day. I am looking forward to this already. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Petrol. Okay, ladies, listen up. I'm only gonna say this once. You are now officially Team Rocket Grunts. Yep, that's right, but don't go putting yourselves on the back. Just yet. Until each of you have proven yourselves out in the field, you're nothing but a bunch of pipsqueaks to me. Now, you're going to receive our first mission in a little bit. Before then, we have a couple of things we need to get sorted. In the crates behind me, you'll find your very own first Pokemon. Starting from the top left here, I want each of you to come up, one by one, to get a little rodents. You'll then proceed to the top floor to the staircase on my right. One of your friendly neighborhood scientist geeks will be up there then provide you with an HM for fly. Wait, fly on a Rattata? Once you have this HM, once you manage to summon enough balls to see yourself a proper bird Pokemon, then you fly your sorry asses to Mount Moon as soon as you're conceivable. Pos you're as conceivably possible and wait further instructions. Is that understood? Yes, sir! I assume I sound like that. Well then, get to it! Am I just gonna get a Rattata, I guess? So you want Rattata, the rat Pokemon is a starter. Not really. No, that's too bad, you're getting- <laughs> Good. 
Oh boy. Ziggy nickname or Ratatata? Heck yeah, I would. Hmm. That's a toughie. Ah, it's a girl. I want, a, I want something that strikes fear to the hearts of my enemies. Hmm. I think I got it. There we go. Miss Fluff. I think that's, I think that's a good one. Miss Fluff. Next in line. Now move it. Move it. Oh, I. Did I over here? I think the other girl went over here. Hello. Where do you think you're going? You're supposed to report. Oh. Uh. Oh, here we go. Hello. Gee, I never fancied myself robbing someone with a ratatata, did you? Oh yeah, the scientist student down there by the computer on the left. On the left? You? And the recruit, is it? Yeah, I've got the HM of yours right here, just a sec. Free, fry free fly for all you grunts now, eh? My Giovanni's going soft. Here it is, pal, don't go putting it to waste now. Obtain HM2. Now get out of here, I've got work to do. Okay, bye. Hello, sir. Hey, you're going out to steal your first Pokemon, are you? Take a note, as a grunt, you only have authority enough to steal from children and old people. So nothing new, huh? Try anyone else and they'll just blow you off. Okay. Oh, no, wrong way. I like this game a lot more already. Hello? I remember if I first steal like it was yesterday. This is the more satisfying than seeing the look on some poor guy's face as you rob him of his lifelong companion and run away laughing. <laughs> Ah, relish a while last, Grunt. Okay, actually, here, let me, uh... Okay, I think that's... I'm trying to figure out volume. Upstairs. Hey, buddy, wait up. Oh, you're a raccoon, aren't you? That's right, I was right next to you in the initiation ceremony downstairs. That stuff is badass, man. Are you going to steal your first Pokemon? Cool. You know, you don't strike me as the kind of guy who'd go out and decide to become a professional crook all of a sudden. You never even... Nick's a candy bar from Pokemon before, am I right? Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I'll teach you all you need to know. Hang on for just a second. One HM2, please, and be quick about it. Name's Ronnie, by the way. Man, I'm itching to see me some Pokemon. Should we go? Frick yeah. I want to be the biggest douche in the Pokemon universe. This place is too darn crowded. Meet me outside. He's like what are you looking at, Grunt? Don't make me look all suspicious now. What's up, lots of coins? Oops, don't have the coin case. Okay. We're gonna rock a game corner. Do you need some coins? Should we buy some? I don't have any money. Welcome! You're gonna exchange your coins for Fabby's prices next door. Bro, wanna play? Oops, don't have coin case. I remember I keep quiet, this rumor that this place is from my team rocket! What? Why are you looking at me funny? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, old. Old guy. Games are scary. It's easy to get hooked. Alright. There you are. Okay, Raccoon, I'm gonna teach you all there is to know about stealing people's Pokemon. What's that? How am I an expert in Pokemon crime all of a sudden? Okay, look. Yeah, I know I'll just join Team Rocket, but a lot of you know I came prepared. Immorality is my passion, man. Come with me. <clears throat> Pokemon Robbery for Dummies Chapter 1. The first step is to any successful Pokemon heist is to pick up a student suitable targets. Now seeing as we're only grunts, we can steal from the kids and all people for the time being, which sucks. But hey, I'm sure we'll be, we'll be raising up the ranks in no time flat, so don't worry about it. Anyway, point being, you've got to find ourselves an old fart or a little brat. Give me a shout if you see any. Oh, old fart spotted. Right there. Raccoon, raccoon, it's looking schoolgirl, six o'clock. Actually, it'd be more like three o'clock. Yeah, anyways, man, this is a big chance. Okay, okay, focus me now. Let me see what the experts have to say next. Step two: engage your chosen target in a Pokemon battle and proceed to defeat them. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Could be the crap of that little girl now. <laughs> you heard the experts. What? Who? Me? Ah, come on, man. That's. I mean, that'd be far too easy. Besides, you're the newbie here, aren't you? Yeah, um, I'll be right behind you, buddy. Hello, little girl. Oh, hello, you wanna play with me? Yay, 
This is my first favorite place in all of Celadon to play. What? Oh, Pokemon Battle? Uh, okay, I can do that. I only have these Pokemon my mom gave me for my birthday, but okay. Battle seems like fun. I see it on TV. Let's do it. Oh god, this game's gonna make me feel like a jerk, isn't it? <laughs> Little girl Susie. Oh, a Pidgey. How convenient. Alright, uh, don't got anything. Perfect. Ooh. Hit him with the tackle. Good job, Mrs. Fluffs. Critical hit! Mrs. Fluff the Destroyer. Oh, Spiro now. Ooh, getting fancy. Oh, you don't stand a chance. Spiro, faint. Boom. Ha. Wow, you beat me. Raikou got 12 polka dollars. Well, that was fun. Huh? Hey, no, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, oh man, you did it, Raccoon. That was the final step. Man, I'm itching with excitement. Step 3. Having successfully defeated your chosen target, you may now force him or her to hand over one of their Pokemon, as far as your rank within your organization of choice allows. God damn it! If being a gangster isn't the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> Go ahead, Raccoon. I'll hold her down. No, please don't. You guys are meanies. Oh man. Hmm. This is the hardest choice of the game so far. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a Pidgey by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Boom. <laughs> it's like they give a nickname to Stolen Sparrow. Frick yeah. Um, who? This is a toughie. Ah, I got it. Misdemeanor. Perfect. Sweet, man. I'll take this one, then. See, that was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Ain't no thing, man. So anyway, what do you want to do now? I guess you better head over to the Mount Moon like that guy Pedro talked about. That Pokemon is not going to fly, can it? Go figure. Anyway, no rush. I'm going to head back and show off my new core to those noobs back at HQ. Feel free to join me, or whatever. Catch you later, man. He's cool. I like him. We got here. Fine, we need to sell down the box store. Can I? Oh, I can go this way. Interesting. I'm not gonna though. That's scary. Hello. Ah, jeez. See any? Little... <laughs> Fine. Whatever. <laughs> See what's going down here. Hello. Thrilling, wasn't it? Well, there's more where that came from. Is there anything I hate more than being a supplier for rookies on recruitment days? Be passed by this very same rookies when I'm trying to work. Even if I just ignore them, they'll go away on their own. Okay, buddy. Really not punk. Ah, what? Well, just practicing. Some little business here, Grunt. Cold hard catch is where it's at. Woo! Oh, that's fun. Hello. Those freaking arrow titles make me dizzy. What are they even here for? Why'd you join Team Rocket? Why'd I get sick and rich and do whatever the hell I want? Oh, oh this place is open now. Hello. Ah, fresh meat, is it? Pink hair, no less. Don't worry, bud, you'll fit right with these pumps here. Right at the silliness of people's Pokemon? By my own aesthetic values, I have every right. Because, dude, I was just looking freaking badass doing it. What are you looking at, kid? Never seen a gangster nerd before? Oh, okay. Oh, is this Ronnie? Men up to any exciting mischief? These guys all suck, by the way. They got no gangster hustle. Well, that was lame. I thought you'd actually, like, give me something. Oh. 
Alright, I guess I should probably... Misdemeanor. Machine set! Misdemeanor, learn fly! place then. Pokemon. Boom. Alright, um, I guess right here. Woo! Hey! Hey you! Over here! Listen up, Grunt! Well, it's time for your first mission, Grunts. We have been informed by a well-trusted source at Peter City Museum that some particularly rare Pokemon fossils have been spotted inside this year's cave. We of these fossils once acquired would be of great help to Team Rocket. Why? Well, that's not your concern, really. Now, we have hired a particular super nerd to help find any identify these files. He is currently making his way through the cave along with some other new recruits that weren't as slow in getting here as you lot. Your mission is to assist in the search any way you can. That means scavenging every nook and cranny of this hole, fending off any trainer who may have gotten a big idea about collecting some fossils of their own, and reporting any of all sightings to me. Do I make myself clear? Of course I do! Now get moving, kids! And I think we're gonna go in that cave in the next episode. I like this a lot more already. Uh, smash like, comment, um, bye.